guys, it's me, Sharon. And today on Creative Glam, I'm gonna share with you another home organizational video. I seem to be on this home organizational theme, so I'm gonna go with it. Today on Creative Glam, I'm gonna share with you the storage solutions and organization of my kitchen pantry. I was on Amazon and I was searching for storage and organizational products that I could use for my pantry. So I'm gonna share with you the unboxing of those items that I purchased from Amazon And then I'm going to share with you how I unloaded the pantry, cleaned it out, and how I restocked it in an organized fashion. This is something that I've been meaning to get to for a while, and I just had not done it, so today is the day. So if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome, and if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. So let's get started with this much needed pantry organization. So these are the stackable trays that I got for the pantry. So I've got two different sizes here. I wanted to keep them clear because I need to be able to see. Because often I stand in my, my pantry and make my grocery lists. So I need to be able to see quickly what I have, what I don't have, what I need refills of. Even though I have a running uh, a list of things that I need to pick up, I still like to be able to pop open the pantry and see right away what I need so that's why I wanted to keep I, that's why I'm going to keep it clear this is my airtight food storage containers it is the seven piece that I will be using today as well for those cereals and pastas and things like that that need a, a longer shelf time. These are perfect for that. And then this is the can dispenser. I don't drink a lot of sodas and soda cans, but I thought that this would be perfect for canned goods. I don't even really have a lot of canned goods, but I do have some. I try and keep some in the pantry, and uh, I try and rotate them to keep them as fresh as possible. Um, so I'm instead of using them for soda cans, I'm going to use them for canned goods. This holds how many? I think it said, this is what? I don't know how many it's supposed to hold. I think it's 12. I think it's supposed to hold 12 cans, and I got two of them. So, that's about right for me. It gives me a, um, a place to store the canned goods without having them all over the place, and it makes it a little easier for me to make sure I use whatever is uh, first in, first out, to try and keep them as fresh as possible. And then these are just storage bins. Uh, they are not clear. They are not see-through. These are going to be used at the very top for me to put things in that I don't necessarily want seen. Uh, like some of the um, plastic containers that I do for meal prep. I'm going to put some of those in here at the very, very top. Uh, which gives me the storage space, keeps it contained, and somewhat out of sight. So that's what these are. I got two sets of those.
I offload the pantry and put everything on the kitchen table and I put them in the order of how I took them out per she by shelf. I took everything out of the pantry and purged the items that had expired and that I no longer need. I then cleaned the shelves of the pantry, swept, and mopped. Okay, so I unboxed all my Amazon storage and organization containers. I washed them, dried them, I now have my containers inside the pantry and I'm ready to put my items back. My containers came with labels but I'm hesitant to use them because the items that I currently have in any given container can change. So I'm not sure what to do. What do you all think? If anyone knows, let me know how you do it in your pantry. Leave me a comment. Okay, now I've got everything back into the pantry and I am loving the way it looks. It took a while. It took me a few hours to get this project done, but it was so needed and I am so pleased with the way that it turned out. I still need to get a container for all of my chips. Well, actually, I saw one at Home Depot and I will run over and pick that up because the container that I had was too small and I did not want one that was uh, I couldn't see through. So I am very pleased with the way that this turned out. I like the way that it looks and it'll be easy for me to keep it this way. And then after this, I can go to the grocery store and pick up any necessary items that I uh, had to purge. Down there I just keep the um, fire extinguisher and I've got my trash bags. I keep a couple of um, recipe books that I get from the grocery store there for quick ideas when I don't feel like going online. I usually keep my paper towels down here and extra water. And then here I've got, that's my popcorn basket. I eat lots of whether I'm popping it myself or whether I am um, putting it in the microwave and I know that's not the best way. I know that microwave popcorn is not that great for you. The quin is the one that I usually eat. It is organic. But I love popcorn. That is my snack of choice. I got a little Swiss Miss back there for hot chocolate. And I've got some rices back there. I've got some uh, uh, five grain rice. That's my jasmine tea that I get from, uh, that's the Trader Joe's brand. My stock. As you can tell, I love quinoa. <laughs> and then that's the ginger tea. Uh, when I want a quick ginger tea, I usually make my ginger tea from actual ginger. I actually peel it and cook it. I love steel cut oatmeal. Uh, the blueberries and cranberry and grits a couple jars of gravy I've got my honey that I put in my tea at night and I've got some peanut oil which is what I cook with I got some Pellegrino for dinner some salad dressings some sauces some peanut butter some more water that um, will be put into the refrigerator when we get low. 
um, I add additional craisins uh, to my oatmeal sometimes. Um, and then I have some seasoning mixes in here. I have some uh, truffle sauce, some, some lemon and herb, E-V-O-O, -O, and some buffalo sauce. And then up here, I purged a lot of my um, canned goods. So I don't have very many. I will have to go back and get some more. And I put them where the oldest is on the bottom, the newest is on the top, so that I can replace them accordingly. And then we got some snacks, things here that you may want to eat uh, if you're in the mood for something uh, sweet. And then over here is the rest of my canned goods, mostly soup. Here I have um, some coffee and I've got some organic flax seeds. I've got some uh, water, some soda, and tea. That's pretty much what we drink um, with bread in the bread box. And again, I gotta get a basket for my chips because the basket that I purchased for them was too small. <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, and then up here at the top I have some cereal in the container here that's in the container here that's cereal um, then the next ones are pasta up above uh, those are the spiral pastas up above there up above the top is um, breadcrumbs and then I've got some spaghetti I've got some uh, cavatavi and some bow tie pasta up here I have some more cereal and I have some pistachios and then in these two containers here on the side as I said earlier those I will be putting my um, meal prep containers and things that I don't necessarily want out but need contained thanks for tuning in guys I hope you enjoyed my pantry clean with me storage and organization redo it was much needed as you saw, and I love the way that it looks now. If you enjoyed it or even got inspiration, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And while you're at it, I'd appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. At the end of this video, you'll see two more video links. Click one of those links to see more home decor by Creative Glam. And with that being said, have a blessed day and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!